So uh, how's spring training going so far? Uh, it's going well. You know, you gauge, you gauge spring practice on development of the younger guys who you didn't really see take reps last year. And, and you uh, also gauge it on how many injuries you don't have, So which we were able to stay somewhat healthy. So, um, And then we had a, we had a good amount of scrimmage on uh, this past Saturday, uh, which the defense really gave it to us. So there's, a, the, you know, there's some improvement to do on our side, but uh, we're, we're trying to stay healthy and still trying to develop those, some of those younger positions. Now, are you guys practicing with pads yet, or is it still? We're, we're both. We, you know, the NCAA uh, limits us as far as contact. Um, and, but we're doing a good job of mixing it up, trying to stay as healthy as we can. Um, so when we do have uh, full contact with the pads, that uh, we'll have enough bodies out there to, to, um, to scrimmage and or practice and so forth. So we've had a good mix of non-contact days and contact days. Great. Uh, what are you expecting this weekend? Uh, we're, we're expecting hopefully to score some points, um, and really just the development. This is a new, um, it's a new team. It's a new offense. You know, we've had Chris Brown for the last three years, and, and now, um, you know, right now it's Daniel's team and on offense. And we got to see what what you know his flow in the game. And he have, he hasn't really played a game um, since really 2013. So we want to get the flow of him. And and, and there's some some new um, the new wideouts we've had. Um, three young men that been in this program and really three-year starters for the last three years. So we've been fortunate, you know, in, in Jordan Hines and Willie Tucker and Roland Jackson. But now they're all gone. So uh, we won't really want to see the, kind of the flow of, of, of how, how Dano moves the ball and, and takes control of this team and puts his own stamp on um, what he's good at, what what he needs to work on, and, and things like that. Now, uh, with Dano and without Chris Brown, do you guys think you're going to be running a more pass-oriented offense? No, I mean, we are who we are. I mean, you know, we, we – you know, our offense is, is proven it works, and we believe in it. Our kids believe in it. Um, they are different. You know, Daniel and Chris, is, they're different, two different kids. And Chris being a bigger kid, being more uh, the, the downfield runner and, and things like that, where Daniel can do some of those things. Um, but Daniel's got different skill set. Um, you know, he's got a liver. Uh, he, just, his, he can see things just a little bit more different than, than Chris. So it, there's going to be some tweaks, but – um, we are, we are, and, and we're confident in what we what we do in our offense. And whoever's leading it, and this year it's Daniel's turn. And um, you know, we're we're going to stay who we are, and you know, do what we do. You said there's going to be some tweaks. What tweaks? Uh, there's some formational tweaks. There's some things that um, that'll help some of our wide receivers and some of our our football. Just formationally, just trying to get um, players in different, better positions to make plays. Uh, for instance, Kyle Lewis, is, you know, he was one of our more explosive kids. Whenever we're trying to tweak some things to get him some mismatches on some linebackers, some safeties if we can, um, getting better angles to get Dano out of the pocket a little bit, you know, whether it's a run or pass. So those are the little tweaks that, that we're, we're trying to implement and, and, and putting pressure on defenses, doing a lot of a lot more unbalanced things and kind of unconventional um, formations to, to, to try to tip their hand a little bit. Um, so those are just little tweaks that, that we have. and, and um, you know, some you know some some of the things that we you know we planned on doing in the spring, and as far as the screen game, we kind of held off for the, for the summer, um, but because we wanted to focus on the tweaks that we have, but not lose who we are as an offense. You know, we still want to be tough, you know, hard nosed kids, but we we don't want to you know uh, lose that who we are. Uh, Joe Prothro, mm -hmm. Corey Garcia. Uh, you know, how are they looking? How are they feeling? How are their legs? Uh, uh, Corey, it, Corey's fresh. Um, you know, Corey is an upperclassman. Obviously, he's, he's, he's going to be in his fifth year. So he has some class issues that he's missing some of, of spring practice. So and the good thing about it is we're, we're, we're saving his legs. Um, and we're looking at the uh, some of the younger guys, you know, like Malcolm Davis and Alex Suchik and one of the young uh, freshman running backs that's really doing a good job is uh, uh, is Cooper. So. He's doing a great job, and, and even the fullbacks, Joe Prothor, we know what he can do. Um, Jared Muhammad, we know what he can do. Um, and Raven Middleton is another kid that came out of, you know, he was a freshman last year, and he was doing some good things and got a little banged up. But, uh, um, you know, they're starting, Joe's starting to practice better, and, and, and he's starting to know how to practice with the limited reps that we give him. Um, and so was Jared Muhammad, and, and really so was Reagan Anger. So we're trying to find out who else we have. And obviously, you know, David Cooper's kid I mentioned, Raven Middleton, and, and you know, amongst the other young running backs, kind of see what, what they can do. Uh, on the offensive end, any sort of questions you had when spring started, you know, are, are you closer to answers now? We are. Um, you know, 
I would say up front, center was, was a big question for me as far as who's going to take that role. And uh, when you have a, a, a really a, really a four-year starter, starting center, and Stephen Simple leave, you, you kind of see how much you, you missed him and, and you took for granted of, of him and being there. So, But I think we moved our all-conference guard to center, Joey Cooperman, and I think he struggled a little bit earlier in camp, and he's starting to get the uh, the uh, his 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 rhythm and, and, and his his eyes correct in, in in the run game in the pass game, calling the protections and doing all that stuff. So I think he's 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 not there yet, but I think he's solidified it. Um, some of the depth on the offensive line, which they're still battling back and forth, uh, and then that wide out, it's 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 still they're still battling. You, you, you know, we have a uh, an older guy, Carson McMurtry, who'll be a senior, who's who's kind of solidified himself as. as as the leader of the group, but there's so many. There's up and down. There's there's, there's the you know, freshmen with 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 uh, with kind of a mixture of the older guys, the returning guys. It just right now they're still up in the air uh, at that position. You guys, you guys want me to move this over? Uh, you know, it's, that's that's perfect there, uh, Coach. So you know, last year. A, a big concern, you know, obviously losing, or I should say two years ago, losing to Zubnar. And, you know, the big question was defense, you know, how are you going to fill those roles, how are you going to fill those gaps? Um, and then this year, is that still kind of the same mindset? Like, is, do, you, do you feel there is, a, you know, kind of a lack of clientele on, on the defensive end with experience? Uh, I would say, you know, if you look at our front seven, I mean, really, we have most of our D line coming back. Um, we lost uh, Logan Mays, but you know the rest of the entire defensive line is back. We have Joe Gigantino who started all 12 games or 11 games last year. Richard Mazaluski started all 11 games last year. <clears throat> Chris Santini played in all the special teams last year, and it was a backup role for us. So uh, Josh Latuliasano is playing our weak side linebacker, who two years ago started every game. So I feel like you know our front, our front has probably the most depth and experience that, that we have on our on our defense right now. Uh, you guys are changing for formation. Is that is that right? Yeah, we're changing a little bit. Um, so we've done some some of the three four stuff in the past, and you know I, I think it's no secret now we're we're pretty heavily involved in it now. Um, we really feel like for two reasons it gives us a chance, you know our defensive line especially and our linebackers to get on the move, and we are a little bit undersized compared to most teams in our conference, but we are athletic. So it gives us a chance to get on the move and, and make plays on the run. And then it also helps us in the recruiting part of it. For us, you know, it's, it's a lot harder to find the 6'4", 280-pound defensive tackle. The 6'3", 220-pound linebacker, those guys are every corner you look around. So recruiting-wise, it makes sense for us to do it too. Uh, you know, as far as kind of how really, really, you can even just look at last year, how offenses are now putting up. 40, 50 point uh, a night. You know, how does it how does it change, kind of the defense uh, uh, on on Cal Poly's end to, you know, hold hold the team to thirty, hold the team to, to twenty eight points. You know, what, what what sort of adjustments do you make for uh, the Big Sky? You know, I mean, our, our conference is obviously you know for our level one of the top offensive con conferences in the country. I mean, you know, week in and week out. I mean, those those guys are like you said are putting up 40, 40 plus points. You know, so the, the the old days of holding teams to 17 points and th those are long gone. I mean, what you're trying to do is is create turnovers, which gives our offense more opportunities to to score. Um, and what you're trying to do is is hold teams to field goals in the red zone. You know, th those are kind of our goals. You know, the, the the old numerical goals of holding certain rushing yards, certain points. Those things are gone. It's really uh, this game is really coming out to create negative plays on defense, getting turnovers. And, and giving our offense more opportunities to score. So, you know, there's, there's a lot of things going on, you know, in college football nowadays with offensive schemes where, you know, to, to say it lightly, I mean, the, the favors in the offense is court. You know, they, they're doing all this run pass option stuff, which makes it very difficult for defenses to defend. Uh, and then kind of the same question I had before, you know, as far as when spring started and, and any questions that, that you had, and, and are, are you closer to answers now? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think going into spring, you know, as far as the front goes, you know, we, we, like I said, Joe Gigantino's back, so he's started all 11 games. But the other linebacker um, spot, which Tuta Noke and, and uh, Burton DeConing kind of left, was 
uh, who's going to be that other inside linebacker. And I think Chris Santini's done a great job in spring. And by no means has he won the job yet, but he's, he's getting close. And he's done a great job there. Um, Front-wise, we've got some, some, uh, a couple guys injured. So it's, it's allowed these other guys that we're planning on being backups or potential 20, 30 snaps a game players. You know, it's, it's allowed them to get some reps. In the secondary, we've had some movement going on back there as well. Um, I feel really good. I was telling Coach T earlier today, I feel really good about our secondary. And since I've been here, the, the six seasons that I've been here, probably the deepest group that we've ever had back there. You know, we have four or five safeties we feel really good about. We got three or four corners that we feel really good about, including a, a guy from junior college coming in um, that we're expecting to play. So, you know, you're looking at 10 guys back there that we feel good about being in the game in the back end.